Well, hello everybody. Today we've got something a little bit different. This is my new male doll that I'm adding to my Barbie collection. He's made by Click and Play World Keepers. He's the secret agent model. And I picked him because I love his bald head, but also because I liked his outfit. He's not in one of these army fatigue outfits. He's got pants that certainly can be used as dress pants and a dress shirt. Let's just take a look on the back of the box. They've got him in a suit as well, but I guess that's a different model that you can buy. That guy's got hair. This is the one we've got, and he's got a lot of equipment. He's got a shoulder, hose, hol a shoulder holster for his pistol. He's got a big assault rifle, and he's also got binoculars, and there he is shooting his gun. So let's just see how this works. I'm not sure how we're going to open this. I don't know how well they wrap these things, but I think we'll start by releasing the scotch tape on the bottom. There's a piece of tape there and take it from there. Okay, I've cut the tape and let's see how hard it is to get the rest of him out here. Open up the bottom of the box. I'm so excited to get this guy because he's jointed. He's like the made to move Barbies. And they don't make made to move cans that I can see. And there he is out of the outer box. So we'll put that away and take a close up look at him. Oh, some of his equipment is falling off. I have no idea what this is. It looks almost like the top of a helicopter. I don't know if it's for a drone or to twirl things around. And he's got a cute tripod. I could use that for a camera. Like I've got my camera on, but I have a feeling he puts his rifle on it. Let's just see what else we've got. Okay, well, we're going to release this part from the cardboard. Oh, I could use this as a backdrop very interesting city scene nice and shiny i didn't even notice that and then he's tied down with some bits of wiry twist ties so we'll just open those and be right back uh, okay i loosened all the twist ties and i must say mattel i much prefer these than the way you attach the barbies by attaching them permanently with those wicked little clips that go right through them. So this way we can just loosen his twist tie and get him out. And there he is, released from his prison. And, oh look, whoa, oh he's very bendy. Guess I've got to hold him up. Oh, he's got this elastic shoulder harness that holds the rifle on. Well, I'm just gonna get rid of that because I don't really have too much use for him with all these weapons, but it was a nice little bonus that he comes with them. Oh, and he's got his, his pistol is in his hand and it's tied on with some clear elastic thread. That's okay, that's a good idea. And then he's got this shoulder holster. Oh, look at this, look at the detail. It's got a real clip holding it in. I think it's a real clip. I don't know if it opens. Maybe it opens. Oh, look at that. It opens. It really unclips. I'd heard that these dolls click and play. They really make a lot of good detail. And that is for sure. So we're just going to take that out. And I guess if he wants to put his gun away, it fits into that holster. And we can just take it off his hand with the clear elastic and there he is he's in a very nicely made shirt with a collar and the belt look at that i thought the belt was fake but oh well it doesn't really open i don't think or maybe you can open this part but i don't think i want to uh, the pants have got velcro and i see the belt is sewn down there that's okay cool uh, and the shirt gets tucked in good long shirt looks like it's really well made 
His sleeves are permanently rolled up and stitched in place. Let me just look at his elbow joints, similar to the Made to Move dolls, but they certainly, oh, and you can rotate his hand this way as well as up and down and at the wrist and his neck rotates. Oh, I like him a lot better than the male doll I bought on AliExpress. That guy just didn't look right. This guy is much better proportioned and he does have a fairly intense look on his face. Looks a bit like Yul Brenner in King and I. Whoop! Oh, you can't hold him below the knees, I see, because the knee joints just flip right off. I mean, not right off, but he flops over. Oh, and let's take a look at his shoes. Take off one of the shoes. They're cute loafers. His feet look pretty big, bigger than a Ken doll, but probably the size of my AliExpress male doll and so he can move his foot he doesn't move his toes like the other guy does but I don't think that's really necessary and we'll just get that shoe back on now I wonder if he can stand by himself I wonder if I could balance him with these bendy knees oh my goodness I bet. Oh, look at that. Oh, he was easy to balance. Look at that. He's standing all by himself. How cool is that? Oh, I'm going to have fun using this doll in some video. That's for sure. Now, let's just get him out of the way and see what other accessories he came with because he did come with a lot of really cool stuff. Um, there's this tripod. Oh, something just fell on the floor piece that fell is this little curvy piece that looks like it could fit into something but I'm really not sure why. The tripod, the legs really bend out and I'm not sure how the rifle would attach to that. I'm going to have to play with it a little bit but that is interesting and oh look at this camera maybe that is for the camera to fit on although i don't see a place where it would fit on the tripod but oh maybe on this the slot no i'm gonna have to play around with that to figure all of this out it's way more complicated than i'm used to and there's this funny little H-shaped thing that I have no idea what it's for. There's a cute laptop Whoop. also on the floor. Oh dear, I hope it didn't break. Oh, the lid. Oh, look at that. These really are well made. Look at that. The laptop closes and opens the keyboard. It doesn't have letters on it, but it's got all the keys and even a mouse pad. And of course, because he's like this international spy, he's probably stealing documents. So it's got the loading thing like you see in those spy movies. But we could easily put a sticker of something else on there. That is an adorable accessory. And he's got a walkie-talkie that is scotch taped down I almost pulled it up by the antenna that would not be a good idea I don't want to pull the antenna off it looks like it might break it's so thin but look at that oh my with like even ridges and if you can see that it's got ridges like where you turn the knob so realistic looking that's really incredible and he's got a headset well of course all spies need that but we could use that in a video where he's just talking to barbie on the phone and you put it on and look at this the mouthpiece really adjusts this is really very very clever oh actually no i'm wrong or does it hard to tell this part certainly adjusts this way Oh, look, it does adjust. Oh, they are just too clever. Well, the review said it was really well made accessories. 
and that is for sure look at this we can radio to headquarters adjust the mic adjust the headpiece oh and he's got sunglasses well let's just sit him down over here oh he looks very intense maybe he is plotting well no he's a good guy so he's probably uncovering some evil plot and he is going to rescue and save the world look at his glasses look they look so small but the shaft part is long so i bet they fit really well knocking his headphones off kind of hard to wear both at the same time but yes he can do it look at that oh my doesn't he look terrific and we've got binoculars with a real elastic neck strap he is prepared for everything this was a real bargain i think i paid just under 20 dollars for this and it came with this incredible doll the outfit and all these accessories let's just put the binoculars around his neck oh i love him he is fabulous and he moves the wrist smooth he can hold a gun he can probably hold a cup let's just see if we can make him a little more colorful and less fearful i think we'll just give him one of barbie's cool drinks to drink that looks like it could fit in that glass here maybe it's a nice refreshing cup of lemonade and instead there oh it fits in his hand great look at that oh and now he can just take a little sip from a nice pink drink oh yeah that's more fun than a gun and the only thing i haven't figured out is this little h clip i'm wondering if it maybe attaches onto the tripod well i'm gonna have fun figuring all of this out and i'm just gonna let my international spy just adjust to his surrounding i gotta remember not to hold him by the ankles because he bends forward i guess his knee joints are very soft but i am overall really really pleased with him this was incredible just a perfect find and i bought him through amazon i don't know if i said that but i'm just so much happier than the doll i got from aliexpress that i was excited to get this guy is a better improvement wow i cannot wait to make a video with him and one more thing i just don't believe this i just discovered when i looked at his shoes more carefully that this doll actually has got a left shoe and a right shoe that's just incredible i've never seen that before on dolls so that is his left foot and this one is his right foot hard to get them on and off because he bends so much and his knees bend but there's his feet and of course his feet are shaped for right and left but unlike most of the other male dolls that have shoes that are interchangeable if you look at the way these shoes are made there's very clearly a left foot and a right foot I'm just so impressed with the detail on that that is just incredible Hooray for them! If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button down below on the side and touch the bell so you'll be notified of all future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you soon.